Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on how to draw a box plot on a Casio FX CG50. The ages in years of a group of people are given below and we've got to use the calculator to produce a box plot or sometimes called a box and whisker diagram for the data. Also we need to generate summary statistics for the data including mean and standard deviation. Now I'm doing this on a Casio FX CG50 but it could also be relevant for you if you have other models of Casio graphic or graphing calculators. From the main menu we want to choose two for statistics and then we are going to enter the data into a list. Now I'm going to choose list one, you can choose whichever list you like but for convenience we'll use list one. Now you, if you're doing this along with the video you may wish to pause the video at this point and take your time to input the data accurately. I've sped the video up here in order to speed up the data entry. Once we've entered all of the values you want to press F1 for graph and then F6 for set and we're going to choose um, stat graph one although you have up to three different ones that you can have at one time but we'll choose stat graph one for this video and then we want to alter the graph type currently by default it is on scatter and you can see uh, a range of different graphs displayed here along the bottom we're going to press f6 at this stage and then choose f2 for medbox you can see that the options here have changed X list, which just means the list with the data or our variable, is list one. So that was the list that we entered the data into. If you've got a different list, then you need to change that at this stage. And as we're just using one variable, the frequency should be one. We've got one of each of those. Now here you can choose whether you have outliers on or off. We don't have any outliers for this data set, but if you did, you may want to, to choose here whether you want to keep them on or off. And then the remaining options are colour options. So we'll have the outline of the box and the whiskers in black. Outliers, well we don't have any but they would be in red. And then the filling colour of the box is going to be blue. So we'll leave those as default there. Let's exit and then we're ready to draw the graph. It's F1 for graph 1. And here you can see our box plot. Let's just navigate left slightly. I'm not particularly sure what the y-axis scale gives on there. Comment below if you know, but we can see that it goes up to x86 on the x-axis there, which is our maximum value. Now to answer part B, we need to generate some summary statistics for the data. Well, if we press F1 for one var or one variable, and then we can see that we've got the summary statistics generated here. At the top we have x bar, which is the mean, 38.6 recurring, I believe that is. We've got some of x and some of x squared. Scroll down, we have the standard deviation here, sigma x is 18, and the sample standard deviation below that. What else have we got? Well, we've got n, which is the number of values, 27. The minimum value is 15. Q1, quarter one, or the lower quartile, which is 28. Median of 32. Let's scroll down a little bit further. Q3 quarter 3, the upper quartile is 45 and then the maximum value there is 86. And then we have a mode of 31, so the most frequent value of 31. How many modes are there? Well there's just one and that occurs three times. And if we want to go back to the box plot we can just press F6 here to redraw. So there you go, how you can generate a box plot on a Casio FX CG50 and how to take a look at the summary statistics including mean and standard deviation. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on the calculator guide.